Okay. Okay. I think, and I'm like 99% sure that the last video I uploaded was a month ago. Was July 22nd. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a rundown of the last month. If you have not read my blog, which I kind of just assume the people who watch my videos don't check my blog and vice versa. So let's just do it. Um, obviously school started. This is our fourth year homeschooling. It's crazy that it's been four years, but what's really awesome is I feel good about it. Like I feel good. Um, so that's what we're doing. We've been in school for two weeks, which is why it's been a month since we've spoken. My oldest daughter had a really bad migraine um, at the end of July, and it winded up bringing us to the emergency room, So, which we are so blessed. This is the first trip. We have a 10-year-old and one that's going to turn 12 in about a week and a half, and we have never been to the ER. Um... I was like riding in the car with her thinking, this is the craziest thing, you know, how awesome is that? By the time I was 12, I had been there for multiple asthma attacks. My brother had broken a billion bones, cut, stitches. It was crazy, but you've never had that. Amen. Um, so we took her to the emergency room, and it's just been a month of like doctor's appointments. She was diagnosed with uh, complicated migraines, and we had an MRI to confirm that diagnosis. There's nothing going on. It's all totally normal. It's just migraines, uh, which you guys know I have. I get complicated migraines, which is like when you have neurological symptoms, uh, tingling in the hands and feet, weird vision, um, nausea, vertigo, like a whole bunch of crazy stuff. So that slams into you, makes you feel really horrible, and then when it finally leaves, you wind up with a migraine that can stay for hours or days. It's awesome, totally awesome. Anyway, so that's been a lot of emotional, you know, even though I knew in my heart and in my spirit she was fine, you're a mom, so you worry, so that's been going on. The first week of August was my church's official dedication ceremony and opening. That's been going on. Um, it's just been bananas. However, so weight-wise, I have gained weight. I think I was, um, I don't even know. I don't know the last time I did a video what was going on, but I'm going to tell you right now today, I was 187.2. 187.2 is a 50... Three pounds, 53 pounds gain from my lowest. So, but, but do you see this? I'm not feeling all sad. I mean, obviously I'm not happy about it, but I am okay. I got to a place where it was like, I don't know, there's a lot going on in my life right now. Um, I have several, well, two businesses that I'm trying to kind of get going, um, face painting, like for parties and stuff, and painting parties, and then also I, I feel like I have just been where I'm supposed to be, like in God and in my life, and just having good communication, and so I am going on an adventure with essential oils and aromatherapy and I'm I have some thoughts on it I ordered a bunch of oils I've done a lot a lot of hours of research a lot a lot of looking into things trying to find the oils I'm comfortable with and everything else I placed my order and I'm going to be using those for weight loss and addiction you guys know I identify as a food addict. Um, I look forward to sharing that with you and to letting you know what I discover and if I think it works and everything else. So look for more videos. They're definitely going to be coming. That's happening. Um, also, I'm looking at doing this. 10-day videos. 
Um, I, obviously, I want to get back into the habit of food vlogging. And I want to get back into the habit of like touching base with you daily or every other day. But I am definitely doing 10-day vlogs, weigh-in weigh vlogs. The reason I'm doing 10 days is because I remember when I was like, oh, 175 days of Sonia. I've, I gained weight since then, so it's 200 days <laughs> um, to get to my goal weight sometime in March. That's the plan. Um, and, of course, I'm going to go about it and adjust as I see necessary, but I really want to get back to that, like, beast mode. I haven't been running in a month. It's making me crazy. There are several reasons for that, and the, the two major ones are that it is ungodly hot in the south this time of the year. Like, because of being out of commission so much earlier in the year, I'm not in the shape I was last summer and the summer before. So, it is ungodly hot. Um, that's one. And the second thing is, I don't, I, some, there's, I, you guys might know that I have like a fear-based mentality and it's something I have always, always had to overcome. And for a while, I kind of was there, but I don't know. Like, I've been so nervous, like, to be out on the track alone. Like, it's just been freaking me out. Running through the neighborhood alone kind of thing. Um, I know it's silly and kind of dumb, but it's where I'm at. So, with that being said, I am trying to get my head together. I am sad. I am more sad about not going running than I am about weight gain, which is crazy because I'm not really happy about the weight gain. Um... But I'm more sad about not running. I miss races. I miss running. I, I do so much. So I think that I'm going to be joining the gym again. Um, I just need to find which one. You know, I don't know. Everybody else has like $10 gyms, $25 gyms, $20 gyms around them. All of the gyms in my area, like within 30 minutes from my house, are like 50 or more dollars a month. It's retarded. I don't like it at all. Um, so I really want to go to the gym, but we just don't have that money. So, that's where I'm at. I'm going to try to find a gym. Definitely going to be running more. I found free Zumba. Oh, it's at a church, locally. This fantastic little Zumba. And you guys know I am a Zumba snob. And when I say that, I'm going to go ahead and come clean right now. And some of you guys who swear by Zumba are going to go, oh, what? I can't believe she just said that. Well, I did. Ready? I don't like Latin Zumba. I like American Zumba. And what I mean by that is that I like it when it's done to, like, hip-hop slash, like, pop music. Because if it's a song I would listen to anyway. And there are some Zumba songs that I think are fantastic. But they're very flavored with, like, the hip-hop club music. Um... But if it's a song I would listen to anyway, it makes the time go by faster, and it gives me more pep in my step. And I really love when we do Zumba to a song that I add to my running list, because then it makes my running and my Zumba both, like, so fun. Um, and, and I like a lot of the Latin moves. It's just that when it's, like, I don't know. I had one girl do nothing but um, Spanish-language music. And the beat and the language in my, I am not a music person. Let me just put that out there. Like, my wife, I'll be like, she'll be like, oh, you know what song this is? I'm like, no, not until the words start. I don't know. And, like, sometimes I can tell it's a tune I should that should be uh, identifiable in my head. But I just don't know. I don't know. So, um, I'm a very lyric person. So... My arm is going crazy over here because Paisley is playing with it, not not because I'm having Tourette. Anyway, um, so, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, she did, this one little girl did, like, an hour of Spanish-style music with Spanish language, and I didn't know any of the music, and I didn't know the songs, and they didn't have a, like, 
deep beat, like a hip hop or like a club beat. They just had like the like, I don't know. And it, it was the longest hour of my life. It felt like it was the same song on repeat for an hour. And it made me miserable, okay? Like, I don't even know how to explain how agitated I was. So, I do like <laughs> music to popular, like, uh, Zumba to popular music and to stuff that I know. This little girl that I go to now, for free, it's donation-based. I do make donations, but it is actually a free service. She is incredible. She does it to music I like. She's the style that I like. A lot of core moves I love. I'm very inspired. And I've been going for two weeks now. I'm very excited. Um, she teaches on Tuesdays and Thursdays. There is a class on Wednesdays and Fridays I don't go to. Um, I am trying to stick to my three days a week or more. I have done it the last two weeks. So I'm very proud of myself. Uh, this week, I did Tuesday and Thursday, and I have another workout tomorrow, and maybe one Sunday, I don't know. Football's coming, so I need to stop banking on Sundays. Um, that's all in the works. I'm very excited. This Sunday, pray for me, is my first event, face painting, and I'm, I'm totally stoked about that. Uh, if you want to know more about those, those businesses, um, it's praisepainting.com uh, is my website for that and uh, I have some paintings for sale there uh, there will be more art coming up I'm just trying to generate income for my puppies and for my family and to do it without having to medicate I have severe attention deficit which has been documented and been a problem since I was very very young I also have other learning disabilities like dyslexia and information transfer and stuff, but the attention deficit makes it even harder to overcome those things. So anytime I had a job or I had to learn a job, being on the medication was really a very important step. And uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty unemployable when I'm not on medication, but I cannot be anymore. The trash guys just got here. Um. Stop it. Hey, hey! Stop it! But I, I, I can't be on medication anymore because of, um, the heart issues that start to occur and all. I don't know if I ever talked about that. Actually, I have a plan to do a couple of videos about attention deficit and a couple of other things. I don't know. I'm going to be working on those things as well uh, with the aromatherapy. Very excited. I feel like I'm really on to something big. Um, anyway. Anyway, I think I got a little off track. I think I was talking about attention deficit and about trying to work and everything else. Uh, anyway, that's actually not why I stopped working. You guys know. The health issues, the pain, the migraines, all of it combined. It just has created a situation where I've really realized I need to be able to generate income and provide in a way that also allows me to rest, to mentally operate uh, in my own circles and stuff like that. So, yeah, got a lot of stuff going on, like 15 burners, plus I'm really trying to get this whole food addiction and food thing straight. However, I truly can't express to you. I think you could probably tell. I feel light. Like in my spirit, I feel light and happy. And do you have that app, Time Hop? I have an app called Time Hop. And it pulls, like you register your online world. And it pulls from the date. Like so today's August 22nd. So it'll pull like from my Instagram, from my Facebook, from whatever I sign up with it, um, all like all of the August 22nd. It's really interesting to see where you're at, where you've been, and I think for me, two things. One, it's been sending me pictures of a thinner me, and I'm like, I'm getting back there. The end. I am going to be that that thin Sonia who is getting pictures of this girl sent to her in a year. Um, and two is, I think it really is a nice reminder of how far you've come. 
there's this weird thing that happens with my Tom Hop, I swear to you. Like, the other day, I took a picture of the window, and I was like, this is my view. And like, five minutes later, I got my Tom Hop delivered, and it was a picture of the window, and it was like, this is my view. And it's weird how so many things overlap themselves to the year. And yet, so much is different. And without that reminder, it kind of gets easy to, like, just feel like nothing's really happening and nothing's really changing, but it is. And uh, I, don't, I don't know. I feel good. I feel excited. You will get crappy videos. It is a pain in my tuchus. I was trying to do videos I could email or upload by, the, by my phone, but somehow... When YouTube and in Google did so mesh, I created a double page. And this account that has been my YouTube account for freaking ever wound up on the extra page and not on the main page. So if I upload a video, it goes to my main page and it doesn't show up under this, this YouTube account. It's the weirdest thing in the world. So... For now, and since, I don't know, there's like a lot of issues with it, but for now you'll probably get a bunch of crappy videos like this, but I am going to work on getting daily videos up, and I am going to work on trying to make my phone talk to my computer in an easier way. I've kind of gotten to a point where I probably need to just like wipe my computer out, start her all over nice and fresh, so she can feel zingy and happy, but that's where we're at. So, that's what's going on. How are you guys? What's going on with you guys? Who's out there still? I don't know. There was something else. It hit my head just now and then it left just that quickly. I don't know. But I hope to be telling you guys about running soon. Uh, I'm like, girl, even if it takes a 15-minute mile, you're going to get it done. Word.